Hi guys, Coach Tom here with Coach Elias. Today we're talking about uh, statistics, okay? And in particular, Craig O'Shaughnessy's statistics about the ATP WTA. Most points end within what? Four shots. Exactly. Points are ending quickly. You know, you see the long rally on TV, but those are far and few between. Now, since points are ending so quickly, you want to develop a weapon where you can end it quickly. Yeah. So what, do you, what is that called, uh, Elias? It's going to be the one-two punch. The one-two punch. I like it. Yes, which means you, you focus on taking control of your service game early on by pressing the surf out wide to the corner and then stepping in and pushing your opponent to the outside, to the open court. Yeah. And that's going to really help you to have, a, have easier service games and something you can rely on and uh, make, make, make it fast. Yeah, so they call it serve plus one. So you're basically going for an out wide, out wide, out wide, I got it right, out wide serve. And you're looking to hit to the open court or hit behind your opponent, okay? So many times you'll win the point outright with a one-two punch or at least you're going to be the aggressor in control and dictating the point. So um, what you're going to need is a good serve out wide. Now, how do you do that? Well, you know, some people call it a slice serve or top spin serve. It's really a little mixture of both. When you hit a, a pure slice serve, you're coming around the outside of the ball this way. Now, when you do that, you're only generating side spin. Now, the only problem with side spin is you have to hit the ball very close to the net to keep the ball in the service box. If you get the ball up too high over the net with side spin, it's going to go out. So, what I like to do when you're going out wide, you're going for a mixture of side spin and top spin. Okay, I had a video on this in the past and I called it slop spin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going, it's not a pure, pure top spin. It's not a pure slice. It's in between. So you're brushing the ball maybe from seven or eight o'clock over to one or two o'clock. So that's the kind of serve you're gonna need. I mean. Okay, here, we're going to take a look at Elias's footwork after the serve. Okay, nice serve out wide. Right there now, see, he's going to the right foot. The right foot is going to push off. He's going to go to his split step. Now notice he pushes off right there, he's in the split step. He's ready now to move to the return. Gives himself some space, goes to the open court, keeps pressing forward, keeps moving forward, another split step there, and moves to this for the high forehand volley, almost a smash all right as you guys could see there pressed him out nice and wide use the serve tom talked about with a sideways upwards brush and then the key thing after the serve is really focusing the footwork and staying in motion either recovering quickly or or coming in and you want to focus on practicing that as well when you're practicing your serves because we see a lot of players they serve and then they just kind of hang out there stand still you want to focus on serving and getting yourself in a ready position as early and as quickly as possible ah. 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 and in addition to moving your feet quickly after the serve you want to focus on taking that next shot as early as possible in order to take time away from your opponent 
and then if you're already closer in the court keep keep pressing forward and it will help you a lot to really be in control of your service game now let me demo the footwork for you and I'll show you you're gonna be let's say you're serving from here come up throw it up you're landing on your left foot recover on your right and then press yourself back to the middle and again coming up you're inside the court left foot land on the right and then push yourself off that right leg to recover quickly back to the middle all right as you can see I hit the serve I recovered quickly and that ready position after the serve allows me to either press in forward or if your opponent hits a good return move back quickly as well so we put ourselves in a great neutral position where we can execute most of the returns our opponent hit Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. So, what do you think the key is, uh, Elias? Practice number one. Exactly. You've got to own that out wide serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. if we don't, the danger on that serve, if we don't really hit it out nicely wide, we hit it right to our opponent's forehand, yeah. and then we can get in trouble. So I would use that serve as a first serve, where we can play a little bit more risky. Yeah press our opponent out and then key thing is move quickly after the serve and take that next shot early again we don't have to overpower the next hit but we want to take time away from our opponent press it early press him into the corner and like we said that's going to help you to be in control of your service game yes and that's what we're after we're after those service games that feel comfortable for us yeah a nice point that he made was the recovery after the serve many people do not work on that you know you have to You've just served the ball. You've got to come out of that and get ready to hit the next ball. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and practice that when you're serving. Yes. Because that's where the mistake happens. People practice their serves, but they just practice the serves and then they stand there. Yes. Work on practicing your serve and, and recover. And the recovery. Exactly. Yeah. All the best, guys.